FDI inflows to Paytm are now under scanner. An inter-ministerial committee is looking at FDI from China in Paytm Payment Services Limited or PPSL. This entity is a subsidiary of Paytm's parent company, 197 Communications Limited. This after RBI found hundreds of thousands of accounts which were created with the Paytm Payments Bank Limited without proper identification in violation of the central bank's guidelines. This made RBI instruct Paytm to stop lending and to not take any further deposits or conduct credit transactions or carry out top-ups on any customer's accounts, prepaid instruments, wallets or cards for paying road tolls after February 29th. Paytm Payment Services applied for a license with the RBI in November 2020 to operate as a payment aggregator under the guidelines on regulation of payment aggregators and payment gateways. Its application was rejected by the RBI in November 2022. 197 Communications Limited, the parent company of Paytm Payment Services Limited, has investment from Chinese Ant Group. According to a PTI report, it is these investments which are now being examined by the committee and a decision would be taken on the FDI issue after due consideration. Now, there are several companies which have foreign investments. But what brought Paytm under the government scanner is the fact that FDI from countries which share land borders with India must receive prior approval by the government under Press Note 3. This rule was put in place to avoid opportunistic takeover of Indian companies. The rule was put in place following the COVID-19 pandemic. As per a Paytm spokesperson, PPSL applied for an online payment aggregator application for online merchants and the regulator subsequently asked PPSL to seek necessary approvals for past downward investment and resubmit the application. Furthermore, the Paytm spokesperson pointed out that the ownership structure has changed. Now, the Paytm founder, Vijay Shekhar Sharma, is the largest shareholder in the company. And Financial has reduced its stake in OCL to less than 10% in July 2023. Therefore, it does not qualify for beneficial ownership. Rebutting media questions, Paytm spokesperson said that media's understanding of FDI from China and PPSL is incorrect and misleading. It's a developing story. We will bring you the latest developments right here. So do keep watching. Please don't forget to like and share this video and to subscribe to The Mint.